So now that we've finished stuffing the two of these with garlic, I am going to put my spices into them. I'm going to use garlic powder and shake it over the top generously. Kind of give it a couple squeezes. It comes out faster. Don't be afraid to use too much. The more spices, the merrier. Onion powder. Some, I like to use garlic sea salt. I usually, this is Morton's brand. I usually prefer Lowry's, but this is what we have, so this is what we're using. And don't forget, a lot of this is flying all over the place. Italian seasoning. And all this stuff that's falling in the bottom of the pan, I'm probably going to take my spoon and scoop it up and use it to stuff inside the leaves also. So it doesn't go to waste. Now I'm just going to use my spoon and I'm going to go around and shove all of this inside. Start with the center. That way anything extra that ends up on your spoon works its way to the outside. Don't be worried about mangling this either because it's kind of a, you know, it's a tough vegetable. You can just kind of keep ripping at it, stuffing your spoon down in there and it's not going to hurt anything, so you don't have to be gentle. Just kind of use your spoon to mash that around. It seems like it's all, you know, stuck in one place. And you'll find that the leaves, you know, they kind of, it's a flower. I mean, they all go one right into the next. So you can kind of just go around in a circle and it'll take you from one leaf to the next and kind of bring you back around into the center. There. It doesn't look like too much spice get down inside these leaves, so. And you know, you don't have to do it messy. I'm kind of doing it fast here for the video. Usually I will, you know, open up the leaves by hand a little bit also and, um, you know, sprinkle a little bit of spices before I do this. This is just kind of the fast version. But those are the main spices that you want to have in there. And I'm not sure if I mentioned it earlier, but you want to make sure while you're doing this that your oven is preheating to 350 so you can pop these right in when they're finished. So this is what you want your artichokes to look like when they are done being stuffed, okay? 
I'm gonna rinse my hands off. to take some water and I'm gonna put the water in the dish. I'm not gonna pour the, I'm not gonna pour the water over the vegetables because we don't want to wash out all that stuff. So we just put it in there, spilling water on the floor. But we want to put it so that it is, you know, just about halfway up that bottom leaf. Um, because these are kind of going to steam in the micro, um, not the microwave, inside the um, oven. I'm going to take some tin foil. And we're going to cover the top over. So. Take our knife. I'm gonna clip just a couple of holes in the top of it. One, two. Kind of go in each corner that you know that the the vegetable's not in. And just two little dots at the top here. Just two corners. So there's plenty of um, vents for that steam to get out. And we're gonna pop it right into the oven. For we're gonna put them in for. Um, 20 minutes and we're gonna take them out and give them a good look and see how they're doing. And if they look like they are ready to have the top uh, taken off, then we'll cook it for the last 10 minutes without the tin foil on to kind of give that crust a good, um, you know, bite to it. 